Hey everyone, here's a video on some of the things that I've been working on with converting this foam glider to an electric RC. Wanted to give you some close-ups so you could get a little bit better view as to what I've been doing and how I've been building it. So, as you can see, I'm about two-thirds of the way done with the airplane as it sits. Uh, one of the big changes you'll probably notice is the wing is on top sitting with the fuselage. It is not sitting in the center area where this kit originally had it. And it's going to actually it's going to work out really well as a matter of fact. I um, wanted to be able to have an opening here for the electronics and some extra weight. And uh, just I don't know, kind of looks really a lot cooler. So um, the motor mount you can see right here is a piece of light ply that I did a hot glue to. And all the gluing that I'm doing with this is hot glue. It's not actually using epoxy. I wanted something with a little bit of flex so uh, that would work out really well. Um, let's take a look at the wing. The wing is the first thing that I had made with this kit and I killed all the dihedral and I built it flat as you can see which was easy to do. I just set it down on the table and sanded these to make them really nice even. Squished the two wing halves together and ran some hot glue right in there. It worked out really well. On the back side I put in myself a micro servo and the wings, let me flip these over really quick, uh, the wings underneath, I ended up putting a carbon fiber spar right through here. I had it lying around, so I used it. You could use a dowel, that would work out just fine. And if you can't see, but there's a little bit of a sheen going on with the um, elevator ailerons here, and that's just packing tape. So the way that I put these uh, ailerons on is just with packing tape, really simple. The biggest change on the body or the fuse is I created a compartment in the center so which added a lot of strength to the foam because this obviously is very flexible but putting these two pieces on either side again hot glued gave it a lot of strength also gave me a compartment as you can see to put in things like my receiver and what eventually be like the ESC. This channel right here that is for the wiring for the motor that will go through there and I'll just tape that over keep that nice and smooth. The bump you see right here, this is a protector for where I'm going to mount my battery. And I ran out of, I couldn't fit the battery up in this area here so I'm going to mount it underneath and I'll give you some details on that later. And this foam piece is a protector for the battery so I'm not hitting it when I'm bringing this in for landing because it's going to be a belly lander. Also another big change to the kit was the elevator. As you can see, it is fiber or pardon me, it is balsa. It is not the foam. The foam was just too flimsy. Plus I need to add weights underneath here because it's so nose heavy. And as you can see, you can sheen going on right there. Again, packing tape. I cut some area space here and underneath so I could give this elevator plenty of movement. Works out great. And my horns for all of my model are just pieces of light ply. Just cut them, glued them, and that's what I'm going to be mounting my electron, or pardon me, mounting the wiring to. And the elevator servo, just carved a spot out of the back, put it in there, carved a little channel, put that wire in. It's looking really good. Um, this piece, if you're wondering, the wing has a little bit of a gap right here. So I found some foam lying around and just carved it perfectly so that when the wing sits from here to here it's nice and snug and works out really well.